I personally am inspired by like a lot of different things, but I guess the main thing is personal experience. Um, a lot of our songs revolve around what's been happening with ourselves and the, I guess the challenges that we face in, in just, just normal life, which is pretty common to everyone. Um, but we do draw a lot of uh, like inspiration from art um, and from poetry and, and books that we read. Um, so I've just kind of finished reading Train Spotting. So you know, I kind of like we wrote a, a song about addiction and stuff that's related to that, I guess. And um, we we just kind of I guess we'll draw our um, inspiration from from artists that we see that have really taken something and pushed it to the limit that, that it can go to and, and that's what we try to accomplish in our, in our music. Basically it's just emotion that, like a particular emotion that will be quite strong, that will inspire song. Um, listening to a lot of music and, and going and seeing live music really inspires as well. Um, and also like, yeah, poetry, like I read a lot of poetry. Um, from like the romantic period and stuff and, and that really inspires me because I, I see a lot of music in poetry and um yet to kind of write songs that I think are really poetic but I'll get there one day I think. I guess the songwriting process revolves around just um, drawing from what we what we previously had experienced. Um, I guess I wrote when I started writing songs. It was probably close on like 10 years ago now, and I've been writing written, written close to like 100 songs and winged it down to a style that I enjoyed um, writing for. Um, and then just kind of tried to, to get that really push that to the limit that I that I could make it. We recorded the tunes and um, like just demo like in, in a friend's apartment um, and took them with us on a car trip up to Splendor. Yeah, so no, which was like July last year or something, and just picked them apart. Yeah, we just took them on the way home and picked them apart and decided what we wanted to do and what we could do with them ideas there and, and then, yeah once once we got the band together like we, we kind of got our, our friends in, in on it um, we sat around like my, at my house like uh, upstairs or at Gabby's house around the piano and, and just brainstormed ideas with the band and tried to work it so that uh, everyone was challenging themselves to to really make the song come out um, and, and we're more about just getting the live performance across I guess than the studio album. I always feel that the studio is just capturing a band at a point in time um, so that's what we, we try to do is is really now the live show and get everyone involved and, and you know put our point across and what we what we recorded I think has really captured that uh, really well so yeah I'm very happy with it it's a bit rough, it's a bit folk, but it's rough yeah. It's very rough. <laughs> when you walk away from me, you see hate, I see love. 